After uploading the photo scan testing video, I found that many of you were interested in learning to create your own scans, and a lot of people were running into the same problems. So I decided to create a series of videos covering everything I know about shooting and processing images with AGI Soft PhotoScan. This first video focuses on the basics, how to capture usable images with just one camera. So let's jump right into it. In the right hand, PhotoScan is capable of truly impressive results. Studios, such as 1024 based in the UK, have used PhotoScan for the work on both the War Thunder Heroes trailer and the Halo 4 cinematic cutscenes. Utilizing incredible camera arrays, they are able to capture full body detail down to the pores in just a fraction of a second. While most of us can only dream of building such a rig, PhotoScan still enables us to create remarkably detailed models on a small budget. Camera Basics It doesn't matter what kind of camera you use as long as it can shoot sharp pictures. The sharper the better. Shutter Speed Make sure it's fast enough to avoid any blurring. Aperture Choose an aperture that is appropriate. Your subject doesn't need to be tack sharp from front to back. If you're shooting the side of a head and the nose is a little out of focus, don't worry about it. Other pictures will fill in this data. Shoot sensibly. If you're photographing a mountain and the light's getting low, you don't need to be at f16. ISO. The lower you can set your ISO, the better. Basic rules of photography apply to these three aspects. I recommend shooting in manual mode so that all your exposures remain consistent. Lenses. I've had good results from any lens I've tried so far. Prime lenses generally give better results than zooms. 50mm is considered the ideal length, but just about anything works. I've even found good results with my 10 20 Sigma at 10mm, which is helpful in shooting in tight spaces. Just avoid fisheye lenses, unless you plan on upgrading to the Pro version in the near future, which actually looks like it will support fisheyes. Also, shoot in RAW if you can. If not, shoot at the highest quality your camera allows. You'll want every pixel you can get. Subject Basics If you're just starting out, pick something simple. PhotoScan has trouble with repeating patterns, like brick walls or plaid clothes, areas without detail, like solid colors, and specular or shiny surfaces. Avoid things that move at all. Look for subjects with simple structural forms, but lots of surface details. Objects with both large and small scale details are best. Trees and rocks are good subjects for your first scans. If you don't live near either a tree or a rock, look for a sidewalk curve or building rubble. These work just as well. Shooting style. Shooting images for photo scan is a lot like shooting textures for CG. We don't care about the pictures themselves, only the information they contain. Try to shoot outside when the sky is overcast or in the shade. The fewer highlights on your subject, the better. If you're shooting something like a person or a rock, move around them in circles as you shoot. If you're shooting a room, move along the wall shooting the opposite side of the space. Be sure to shoot higher and lower angles as well. If the light is low, use a monopod. Absolutely do not use a flash or strobe head unless you've already practiced with it and know how to get good results. How many pictures should you take? This number depends heavily on the complexity of the object and how much of it you want to recreate. 50% overlap between pictures is a good rule of thumb. Just remember, the computer can't guess what's on the other side of something. If it's not in the pictures, it's not going to be in your model. This is especially important to remember as you begin photographing more complex shapes. Ideally, you want to shoot as much coverage as possible. However, start simple. When you're first starting out, don't go shooting 200 pictures of that same rock. Limit yourself. See what kind of results you can get with just 20 photos, or 12, or 9. Photogrammetry is still an incredibly processor-intensive task, and the more pictures PhotoScan has to sort through, the longer it'll take to find out your photos suck and you'll have to reshoot them. But shooting fewer images early on will also help to become a more efficient shooter. The fewer images you need to take to properly reconstruct something, the less time it'll take to generate the mesh, the higher quality that mesh can be, and the less money and time you'll have to spend on computer hardware to reach ultra high quality. To recap, Shoot clean, sharp pictures as quickly as you can. Start with simple objects. Avoid movement like the plague. Look for matte surfaces with lots of unique details. Shoot plenty of coverage, but try not to shoot more than you need to. If you'd like to see more examples of what PhotoScan is capable of, I highly recommend checking out 1024's site. They have a ton of behind-the-scenes pics and even a shop where you can browse for all types of scans and other CG resources. Next month, we'll be releasing a new PhotoScan tutorial each week. They'll each be focused on a specific topic, environment scanning, prop scanning, and head and body scanning. 
So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.